Hello and welcome back. In this Black Excellus video, we will highlight the life and accomplishments of Benjamin Banneker. His story is not just about his remarkable achievements as an architect, astronomer, and author, but also a testament to his unwavering commitment to challenging racial prejudices and advocating for equality. Benjamin Banneker, a free black man in a nation, grappling with the complexities of freedom and opportunity, defied expectations, leaving an enduring legacy that enriches the tapestry of American history. Our nation's capital wouldn't be the dazzling metropolis it is today without the ingenious touch of Benjamin Banneker. And at the turn of the century, when automobiles were still a newfangled marvel, there was another marvel in the making, the city of Washington, D.C. It wasn't just anyone who got to design this historic city. It was none other than George Washington, the very first president of the United States, who decided to give Benjamin Banneker the opportunity. It turns out it was Thomas Jefferson who gave him a glowing recommendation and suggested he be part of the planning committee. Born on November 9, 1731, in the area now known as Oala, Maryland, Benjamin Banneker was the product of unique circumstances. His parents, Mary and Robert Banneke, themselves formerly enslaved, had secured their freedom, providing Benjamin with a rare legacy of liberty in a time when slavery cast a dark shadow over the lives of many African Americans. This freedom, though, did not shield the Banneke family from the racial prejudices of their era. As a child, Benjamin's education began at the hands of his maternal grandmother, Molly Welsh, an English dairy maid falsely accused of theft. Her ability to read during her trial saved her from a death sentence, but led to seven years of indentured servitude in the American colonies. Molly's resilience and determination in the face of injustice undoubtedly influenced young Benjamin. As a free black child growing up in a society rife with racial tensions, Benjamin Banneker was introduced to both the privileges of freedom and the harsh realities of prejudice. His early education, guided by the wisdom of his indomitable grandmother, Molly Welsh, set the stage for his extraordinary journey. From a young age, it was clear that Benjamin Banneker possessed a prodigious intellect. His insatiable curiosity led him to explore the realms of mathematics and science independently. In his early 20s, he embarked on a remarkable endeavor that would astound his community, a wooden clock he constructed using a borrowed pocket watch as his guide. This wooden marvel would keep perfect time for an astonishing 50 years, earning its place as one of the wonders of the region. Young Benjamin's fascination with the inner workings of the world knew no bounds. He was able to create and innovate many inventions with little formal education. Even his handcrafted wooden clock defied the expectations of his time. This wooden timepiece became a symbol of his many ingenuities and marked the beginning of his lifelong exploration of the universe. In 1772, the Ellicott family, Quakers hailing from Pennsylvania, settled in Maryland and established Ellicott Mills, known today as Ellicott City. Fate would soon intervene, leading to a profound friendship between Banneker and the Ellicotts, particularly George Ellicott. George, a land surveyor with a deep passion for astronomy, became Banneker's mentor, providing him with essential tools and books on the celestial sciences. Banneker's thirst for knowledge was unquenchable, and he quickly mastered the intricacies of astronomy. His crowning achievement was the creation of an ephemeris, a set of astronomical projections used in his first almanac. It was in the quiet countryside of Maryland that an extraordinary alliance formed. The Ellicott family and Benjamin Banneker, united by their shared love for astronomy, embarked on a journey that would forever change the course of American history. Together, they unlocked the secrets of the stars. Impressed by his mastery of astronomy and mathematics, the Ellicotts invited Banneker to join them in a groundbreaking endeavor, the survey of the nation's new capital, Washington, D.C. Using celestial observations to determine latitude and longitude, Banneker played a pivotal role in plotting the city's boundaries. The accuracy of his calculations earned him respect and admiration. Upon his return to his farm, Banneker undertook a new mission, the publication of a series of almanacs that combined astronomical data with proverbs, mathematical puzzles, and essays decrying the injustices of slavery. Between 1792 and 1797, he published six almanacs that became bestsellers. In the heart of a new nation's capital, Benjamin Banneker's calculations and insights transcended the boundaries of his time. He charted the path for the city's development and his almanacs, infused with wisdom and social commentary, ignited discussions about justice and equality. Throughout his life, Benjamin Banneker grappled with the harsh reality of slavery. 
His conviction in the face of this inhumane captivity fueled his determination to make a difference. In a bold move, he penned a letter to Thomas Jefferson, then Secretary of State, calling for the recognition of the cruelty of slavery and urging Jefferson to use his position to seek freedom for those in bondage. Accompanying his letter was a manuscript of his upcoming 1792 Almanac. Jefferson acknowledged Banneker's plea for liberty and sent his Almanac to the Academy of Sciences in Paris, France, a moment of profound validation for Banneker. Benjamin Banneker's voice, unwavering and resolute, resonated through the corridors of power. His impassioned letter to Thomas Jefferson echoed the sentiments of countless others who yearned for freedom and justice. Banneker's almanac found its place in the annals of international recognition. On October 25, 1806, at the age of 74, Benjamin Banneker passed away. He never married nor had children, but his legacy as an intellectual, astronomer, and mathematician was etched into the annals of history. For over two centuries, his life story has inspired countless generations, igniting the flames of curiosity and resilience. The world lost a brilliant mind, but the legacy of Benjamin Banneker endured. He may have departed this realm, but his impact resonates through the ages, reminding us all that knowledge, determination, and the pursuit of justice have the power to shape the world. In the remarkable life of Benjamin Banneker, we find a beacon of knowledge and equality. His journey from a free African-American in colonial Maryland to a renowned astronomer, mathematician, and activist stands as a testament to the human spirit's ability to transcend adversity. Banneker's legacy reminds us that regardless of the challenges we face, the pursuit of knowledge and the fight for justice can lead to profound and lasting change. His story serves as an inspiration for all, a call to embrace curiosity, resilience, and the unwavering belief. Although some of his peers recognized his intellectual merits, Banneker was mostly overlooked or discredited. The reaction to his achievements reveals the rigid cultural patterns and racial attitudes of the Federalist and Jeffersonian eras. Although the Banneker Institute was opened in 1854, Banneker did not receive the recognition he deserved until the 20th century. During the Civil Rights Movement, landmarks related to Banneker were commemorated in states like Maryland. And history books, especially those focusing on African-American pioneers, began including his noteworthy achievements. In 1980, United States Postal Service designed a stamp featuring Banneker, the first American astronomer so honored. Today, there are several schools, parks, museums, and facilities named in Banneker's honor. For example, the Maryland Historical Society sponsors the Banneker Douglas Museum, a historic church in Annapolis, Maryland. And speaking of the legacy of Banneker's almanacs, the traditional type survives in the Old Farmer's Almanac, which has been continuously published in the United States since 1792. But the best known type of almanac is now a handy and dependable collection of a vast array of statistical, historical, and other information. We appreciate the fact that you stayed until the end. Thank you for spending time with us, and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.